should I do something productive or go see Legend of Hercules? I think I'll go see Legend of Hercules. See you guys in a couple hours. Ah, shit. I guess I gotta do something productive. Whether I should take this as a sign from God, or as just one of the many inconveniences of living in New York, I am here, and I want to talk to you guys about a few things that I haven't been addressing lately. It's 2014, and I do plan to make some specific changes in this year, and I'm going to address those right now. While many tend to make really big decisions and, you know, address their fans or viewers that they're going to be doing big things in 2014 or whatever said year, um... Usually they have things planned out really far ahead. I don't, and I don't know what's going to happen in 2014. Hopefully some very awesome things, but nobody can guarantee awesome things right away because nobody really knows what's going to happen. Life is so unpredictable that we don't know what's going to happen from a day-to-day -day basis. We could be dead tomorrow. Not to be pessimistic, but you never know what could happen in life. The whole world could come to an end from a meteorite. Who knows? <laughs> but what I'm basically trying to say is that I am making changes. And one of those changes is new music, also new theme. So now here I go again on my own, going down the only road that I've ever known. Um, over the last two years when I first started doing this, I had a goal to start doing movie reviews and I've been doing that consistently for two years now, which is insane to think about. But for two years I've been seeing a movie every single week, sometimes more than one movie. And I've seen most movies that have come out in the 2012 and 2013 years. And I'm making a big decision in concern to this channel right now. I'm not going to see every movie anymore. That's one of the big changes. I'm not going to see every single movie that releases every single weekend. Because quite frankly, college is starting up and life is starting to pick up a little bit for me. And I'm trying to get my life on legitimate track here. And in order to do that, I can't spend all of my time with all these movies. Some of these movies that are coming out recently, especially in this month, it's pretty much assumed or pretty much known that they're going to be either mediocre or bad, and not to be, you know, judgmental, but you could make a distinction, really, between a movie that's potentially supposed to be good and a movie that's potentially supposed to be bad. And what I'm doing basically now is I'm going to be seeing the big movies, the movies that everybody's looking forward to, or movies that, you know, have legitimate and authentic hype. I'll still be seeing every major release, I'll still be seeing indie movies when I get the chance in Manhattan, and etc. But movies that I know are going to be terrible, I'm not going to see those anymore unless it's by unintentional will, because I just don't have time for that anymore. However, to fill the gap of the weeks when I'm not seeing movies because I think they're not worth my time, I will be doing something different that I'll be incorporating into this channel. It's called Movie Hoppers. It's something that me and my friend Pete Davidson, who you might know from MTV, and he's a really, really funny stand-up guy, go check him out. We started something called Movie Hoppers. It was just an idea, it was a fragment of something that was going to happen, but never initially picked up. So now I had the thought, why not pick up the name again and start it over? So the idea of Movie Hoppers is it's just a separate thing where it's used for news stories and podcasts, if I ever do podcasts in the future, and stuff like that. So. On a said weekend, if I don't see a movie, like for example this upcoming weekend, I Frankenstein, if I don't see that, then I'll be talking about, in a video, something that importantly happened this week. If there was a big casting news, if there was a big trailer. Basically what I'm saying is that there's still going to be at least one video being uploaded every single week, it's just not always going to be a review. It might just be a movie hoppers video. And also with that, I mentioned something on my Facebook page a couple months ago, but I never picked that off the ground either. But I wanted to start something because I started picking up on watching Charlie's Trippy videos lately, again, after a few years. And he does daily vlogs, and he, he's actually pretty awesome with his wife, Allie. So what I wanted to do was, for every time I saw a movie, I would record and make a vlog of that entire day leading up to the movie. You would see my life's events leading up 
to that time when I get into the theater and watch the movie and then after I would make like a 30 second review with my friends and then you see the real review on this channel in a separate video. That I can't guarantee but I'm gonna try to basically resurrect the idea and bring it to life. Movie Hoppers Vlogs. So if you fell asleep over the last few minutes of my monotony, I'm going to um, retrace my steps and remind you of what's being addressed here. One, diminished movie reviews, meaning I'm not going to see everything, but then also to make enlighten that and make balance, I'm going to be having movie hoppers, which is a new thing, which is new stories and possible podcasts in the future, and then also vlogs. So whenever you see this video, and it's a very important video in my opinion, let me know what you think about my new changes in the future in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree? Do you like what I'm trying to do here? What do you what are your opinions here? I'm also looking to make a big major upgrade in my intro video. So if anybody has great skills in Photoshop and or Final Cut Pro, then hit me up on here on Facebook or on Twitter and we could talk and maybe something could happen. Something magical. I'm John Maffio, aka Mothman Jones. Subscribe, like, check out Facebook, Twitter, and we live film in the info box. See you guys next time. Love you.